As Big Poppy would say, let the kids play. We'll cover three effects that were showcased in MLB's 2020 postseason promo. The promo could have been hand drawn, but instead I'll be using some simple techniques and effects in After Effects to pull it off, but use this as a springboard. The very first step is to rotoscope your layer. And this layer, which I labeled Roto Brush, if I solo it and if I click on the transparency grid, you can see that this is my rotoscope layer. You can use Roto Brush like I did in this example. You can also use Runway. And I've done tutorials on both if you want to check it out. Now, the second step is your work area must match the duration of your Roto layer. And the easiest way to do that is move your CTI right here. This is the beginning of my Roto layer. Hit B for Bravo to set the in point, And then the letter N for November to set the out point. Make sure that your Roto layer is selected. Go to Layer, Auto Trace, and select Work Area, Alpha for the channel. These numbers, just leave it at the default values and make sure that you apply to New Layer. Hit OK. And After Effects will create this solid layer. Let's rename it to Outline and hit MM for the Mask Properties. And this solid layer is simply a silhouette of your Roto layer. For the mask opacity, let's delete the keyframes so we can leave it always at 100%. Now, for this effect, what we'll do is we'll be working with a mask expansion property. So let's, at the very beginning, let's click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Let's make it zero. We're at 316. So let's jump forward to about a second later, about 412. And let's bump up this value. Let's cover the entire screen. Let's make it 750. Select the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, F9 is the shortcut. And let's jump into the value graph. I'm gonna select just the mask expansion so we can see this curve. And what I'm gonna do is tweak this curve like this, this shape. So it's going really slow for a long time and the last couple of frames, it'll go really fast. So let's see it. It's looking pretty good. Let's jump back, select the outline layer, make a copy, control D or command D if you're using an Apple computer, hit U to reveal the keyframes and select the keyframes for the mask expansion. And let's shift it over one or two frames. In this case, I shifted over two frames, select the outline layer and using track mat, switch it to alpha inverted mat. And let's check it out. There you go, we have the outline. Now to make more copies, really easy. All you need to do is make copies of these two layers. Select Control D to make a copy, hit U and simply select the keyframes for the mask expansion and shift it over. And again, perfect. Okay, let's unsolo the layers, select all the solid layers right click let's pre-compose and let's move all the attributes and what we can do is we can go ahead and add some color generate fill we can change the color to blue and let's add one more effect go to time posterize time and our frame rate is 23.976 let's go halfway Let's go to 12. This will help give it more of that stop motion feel. For this example, I'll be using shape layers, but you can also make it with a solid layer and mask. I prefer shape layers because they are resolution independent. And to get started, make sure that all your layers are deselected. Let's go up to our tool menu and select the pen tool and let's start drawing this fun and crazy cartoon shape. Once you're done, let's move the shape layer beneath your roto layer. And you'll definitely need to have a layer that is rotoscope, at least for the duration where you'll have this effect. And if your shot moves, you'll definitely have to track that shot. And for this example, you can see that it moves, moves a lot. And I have this null object that contains my position and scale keyframes for the track. And I'll simply parent it and let's check it out. Perfect. Now let's add some effects. So let's go to effect 
distort turbulent displace and we'll switch it to horizontal displacement the amount let's make it 30 the size 150 and the key thing is the evolution now instead of adding keyframes what we'll do is we'll add a simple expression i'll click on the stopwatch and it brings up the expression box and type in time times 2000 and this number you can change to whatever number you want but 2000 should be a good starting point let's click outside and let's check it out and then you see right here it kind of we can kind of see it so what we can do is we can adjust if that happens let's go back to the path let's just move it inside perfect and there's one more effect that we can add and that is go to time pause rise time and 29.97 frames per second is the frame rate for our comp and let's go halfway for the pause rise time 15 and it'll help give it more of that stop motion feel and you can always change the color if you want to change the color for example let's change it you can change it and the cool thing with using shape layers is you can add a stroke. If you want to add a stroke as well, you can do that. So shape layers gives you a lot of different options that you wouldn't have if you're using a solid layer with mask. Now let's do one more right here when they clap right here. And again, let's create a shape layer. Make sure that nothing is selected. Let's go back to the pen tool and let's draw a shape. And what we'll do is let's trim the end point right here and hit S for scale Add a keyframe. Let's make it 20. Let's make it small. Let's go forward five frames, five or six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, make it 200. And let's trim the out point and let's add the posterized time, make it 15. And there you go. It gives it a nice, it gives it more of that cartoon feel. For this example, amigos, you'll definitely need to have a roto layer of your player. And once you rotoscope that layer, go to layer auto trace to create that silhouette version of the player. And once you're here, go to the silhouette version. I labeled it matte. Hit MM to go to the mask properties. And for the mask expansion, let's expand it to 30 pixels. This is up to you. It depends on your shot, but 20, 30, 40 pixels is a good number to start. Next, let's create a solid layer. Control Y or Command Y to bring up the solid settings. Make it comp size. Choose your color. I'll make it orange for Tampa Bay, the old school Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the pen tool and let's draw this crazy cartoony shape and let's tweak the points if you need to now once you're done let's bring this solid layer beneath our mat and what we'll do is using track mat let's switch it to alpha inverted mat and since we expanded you can see if we go to the mask expansion you can see how much you need to expand it so it's up to you we'll leave it at 30 and we'll animate this solid. Now you can animate with a position. You can animate it going across like this. Or another method is you can animate the mask path. And what we'll do for now is if you want to tweak these points, you can tweak these points as it moves. So that gives you that extra flexibility. Let's go ahead and let's animate the mask path. Click on the stopwatch and hit Control T for the mask transform tools. And let's move it out of frame. Move the CTI to the very end. Control T or Command T again for the mask transform tool. And let's just move it over. And what you can do is, like I mentioned, you can tweak some of these points so they move over time as well. You have that little, little variance. And we can do the same thing for this. So you already have some variation. But this is not necessary because we're going to add a turbulent displace to create more movement as well. And we can always select the keyframes. I'm going to add easy ease and then jump into the speed graph. And then we can adjust the speed of this. Adjust it to however you like, but this is okay for now. 
what we'll do is we'll add that turbulent displace effect, go to distort turbulent displace, switch it to horizontal displacement, and we can make this 30, 150. And again, for the evolution, what we'll do is we'll add an expression time times a thousand. And what we can do as well is add that posterized time to give it more of that cartoon stop motion feel effect time posterized time. And we're working in 29.97. Let's go halfway. And that is 15. Let's check it out. Perfect. And what we can do is we can add turbulent displays to the mat as well. So what we'll do is let's just copy the one that we have here. Let's paste it. And let's just tweak it. Let's go down to effects and the evolution. Instead of 1,000, let's bring it down to about 300. And you can see that it's a little bit too much. So we can dial this down to maybe 100, maybe this down to 20. But it's also moving inside, which is kind of cool. And we can also posterize time as well.